Hey guys, back at it again. The weather's kind of choppy, so it's a little bit windy. I got my neighbors out cleaning um, the streets because uh, we just recently had spring cleanings. Now, don't mind that, you know, just that doesn't pertain. You might hear some background noise, but definitely this is just going to be me talking again. Uh, so the 48 volt build, uh, I redid the whole design to how my main purpose build was supposed to be supposed to have more speed more range more acceleration uh the ability to pedal and then also have my rear brakes so technically a whole overall upgrade from the main stock jetson boat pro now you might be thinking why didn't you just get a different brand like uh i think there was this one called the uh, uh leicher or leecher or something like that uh, which is a 48 uh, build already and you know it's pretty much the same damn design and it's bluetooth i was like well at the time when i was purchasing a boat pro i didn't really care too much about getting a fully built one because in the end this was supposed to be a build to learn and have fun with and definitely fuck it up and do crazy shit now that was the main purpose about this whole build is just to learn about how e-bikes work and definitely i fulfill that purpose and that um that research that i have done spent my money on and you know everybody to their own opinions now if any of you guys are technically re-replicating the same kind of build as i am you're gonna run into a couple issues now i want to address some of those issues who like to the ones that are doing the 48 volt build um there's not a uh there's not a lot of like videos out there um uh, stating how they're doing these builds um they show that they put the part on but they don't talk about much of what what issues they're running into like these minor details if anything th these minor details are easy to uh to be addressed and it just requires you just you know type in google and doing your own research but if anything i'm gonna just save a little bit of the hassle now if you're like me you wanted the pedals to to work with it and also have your you know rear thing to work but you also want your acceleration and top speed like how i want you know before i didn't have my pedal assist on. it's still not hooked up because i still got to find out what's the color coding uh to the uh factory jets and to the kt one but if anything i'll just order a kt pedal assist or if anything i'll just get rid of the whole chain and pedal assist uh overall and just be throttle only um you know that that just that's just one of the works that i'm contemplating on whether or not how i want to take the direction of this build so definitely if i can't get this figured out then you know uh, it's it's just gonna go one way or the other uh now if you want pedal assist uh definitely you know you have to change the orientation of your wheel which i have currently did if you see as my phase wires are right now they are not supposed to be color coded the way how they are they're supposed to be you know blue to blue green to green we yellow to yellow but i literally have my shit all fucking twisted up and that's what you're supposed to do is to figure out what's the correct uh um orientation for your uh, phase wires to your motor that's the reason why when you um do your phase wire you're supposed to test them in a perfect world what we're supposed to have is that you know blue blue green green yellow yellow but in a world when you're modding and you're trying to figure out all the shenanigans you have to mess around a little bit so i have the wheel turning into the correct orientation if you can see it goes and from no weight on it it fucking pops like it there's there's a lot of current that's flowing in but the thing is that after a while of me riding i i get stuttering and i get like i'm not getting the acceleration the oomph the the voltage really being very smooth if anything this current flow is really choppy 
and it's not it's not smooth if any good like e-bikes that has been built like from the manufacturers they have done all this testing and all that and the thing is that everything's color coded correctly and there's always smooth power delivery now when you're fucking and modding uh, e-bikes and all that you don't get that perfect world you have to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do so this is how if someone was to replicate the build now the ones who are are replicating the same build as i'm doing this is your color coordination for getting your front wheel oriented correctly heading uh going forward now before i had it just hooked up to the color coded wires and the wheel spins backwards um, so if anything i had to flip the wheel just to get it going but the reason why is that when i did that i had smooth power delivery and it was not being choppy and anything just the only thing is that the wheel was just spinning backwards so i had to flip it around just to make it go forward but the thing is is that when you do that you lose the the rear brakes um i didn't i i didn't get to use my rear brakes for the longest time and that's what i wanted because i was relying on the front brakes so much is that my front brakes they're technically given out at this point uh, like I stated before, I am planning on upgrading the, the stock brakes to probably like Shimano's or MT uh, Maguras. But I just want to kill my stock jets and brakes and use them to the fullest. And so I can get my money's worth it uh, before I do my upgrade, you know. But overall, this is just a whole redesign. Uh, hopefully, whoever's like trying to re... Uh, replicate the same kind of build as I am doing uh, definitely I would say for you to is look at your phase wires and your hall wires if you want to get your orientation of the wheel flowing correctly um, you know this is the the setup that you're gonna be running with now the thing is that uh, to get something we got to sacrifice something that's what I learned so if anything if i want more speed and more power and more top end uh i'm just gonna have to sacrifice my chain and my pedals and then i'm just gonna have to do like some pegs uh just for that but you know if anything if i could figure anything out then uh definitely i could keep those on i can have my acceleration i can have my top speed this has been built uh been done before um it's just due to me uh, still learning and still trying to figure out these things spending my own damn money on trying to figure out how to get a good e-bike set up properly is it takes time and it takes uh, a lot of like research and knowledge to be kind of like spelled out so if anything yes this is the new build uh not the new build i would say the new redesign for the build uh once i'm done and i finally made my decision on how i want this bike uh this this bike is literally going to be done for if anything the last the last part on this bike is just going to be cleaning up all the wiring and putting new brakes on and call it a day and that that's that's probably like the final part of this 48 build now i want to talk to you guys about this new project that i'm currently doing is the 72 volt Jetson J5. This is a uh, 72 volts. I do have my big gigantic battery, which is going to be rear mounted. Um, I was hoping that it was going to be middle mounted. I just get rid of the plastic covers. And then like, I was expecting that this frame was actually going to be a lot bigger, but it's not really. So I'm resorting to a rear rack. Uh, this one, I'm not particular caring too much about how the design is going to be like um it's just sitting the way how it is i do have my 72 volt controller and i also have another 72 volt controller sitting here kt this is just an off-brand china one um this is a 50 amps and that one's a 60 amp so if anything uh this build is going to be a lot bigger and faster um, I'm currently waiting on another hub motor from China. Uh, this one that I currently have is chewed up. Uh, somehow the wires got ripped. So I have a black wire in here that's just separated completely. 
I don't want to open that up because I probably can, but I just don't want to do that. So if anything, I'll just order another one from China and then I'll warranty this one out. Uh, so that way I can get this build going up and uh, a little bit faster than my original thought is. Uh, I do also have another hub motor. If anything, I'm probably going to do a uh, dual uh, all-wheel drive, I guess you can say, on this Jetson 48 volts. Because they're both that hub motor and this hub motor they're both 48 volts just this one's a 1500 and that one's a 2k motor so if anything uh that might be the new build for the 48 volts if anything i'll run a controller that does the the dual dual drive mode and then that way i can get the uh the halls and the phase wires stuck into the to the housing uh do the same thing have the controller sit outside and then just run my wires through the housing right here if anything i'm just gonna have to make another hole into the housing and you know definitely i uh, will have the ability to use both motors so that's probably going to be one of the the newer things that i'm gonna do with this uh definitely hopefully maybe you guys are gonna be interested in like probably looking forward to that like i i don't i could care less about like other people's opinions because the thing is at the end of the day i'm spending my own like money that i'm actually building with this shit and people could talk shit all they want i i just don't care so you know definitely like all these bills they're 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 just getting better and better i'm i'm not looking to like be the most top end or extreme i just want to be my own satisfaction on how i want to build these bikes and the thing is that i'm getting to where i'm at and i'm almost being completely satisfied of how this build is coming out if anything once i finish this build it's just gonna develop into the next build and that's the reason why i have that 72 volt build that i'm gonna be doing uh pretty soon so definitely if you guys you know Again, look forward to the maybe the all-wheel drive Jetson. Then st stick tuned to that because um, that's going to be on the way pretty soon. Uh, I'm just waiting on parts from China. Uh, it just takes like months for parts to come in from China. And, you know, everybody knows how like the world uh, demand is right now, you know. So definitely... Thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to bother me saying like, like or comment or subscribe because I'm not about that. I don't like to. It's not that I don't like to edit my videos. It's just I'd rather have it raw and me just talking straight on the spot and completely from the heart. So, you know, I'd rather be real with that than like just over like uh, re-looking at my stuff and all that crap. That's the reason why I cuss my videos because I don't give two, two shits about being PC and all that. But definitely, you guys are just interested on how this build is coming out and you want to do your own. This is the update. And yeah. Alright guys. Peace.